Hi Virgo, <clears throat> excuse me. This is Sandy Couture and I am here doing the astrological tarot reading for the sign of Virgo for what is being what is called an astrology world, um, Capricorn season. Capricorn season runs from December 22nd approximately till January 22nd. That is when the sun is in the sign of Capricorn. Capricorn is a cardinal earth sign. Now earth signs are about stability and um, if you think of uh, Capricorn, it's the mountain goat, so very stable, wants to get to the top of the mountain, keeps going, tenacity. But it's Capricorn is also a cardinal sign, which means that it's, it likes to do new things, start new things, start new journeys. So it's no surprise that we write resolutions when Capricorn is around. It's no surprise that we think about what we're going to do for the new year when Capricorn rolls around. So um, the message this month, though, is to, well, we've all been kind of stagnant because, more or less stagnant, unable to move forward because Mars, the planet of action, has been retrograde since October in the sign of Gemini. So it feels as though no matter what you're trying to do, you're taking two steps forward and one step back. So you're not making a lot of progress. That's what happens during retrogrades. Now, at the same time, next week on the 29th or 30th of December, Mercury is going to go retrograde. So you're going to be asked to make sure that you have all the information at hand before you move forward because on January 12th, Mars is going to take its toes off of the brakes a little bit. It starts to station direct. Now it takes a while for the planets once they start to station to direct to move out, move out and be moving in a forward trajectory. But once that starts, it's going to ease up the pressure of not being able to move forward with whatever it is you're choosing to do. So Virgo, interesting reading that came up for you. The place that you are now, the place holding you right now is the ending of something. The three of hearts, if it's a personal reading, it could mean the ending of a relationship, the ending of a job, but it could be the ending of a situation, just a culmination. And this heart I like because it's not blood dripping down, but beautiful purple asters or flowers dropping down from it. It's a, it's a sign of new beginnings. So it feels as though there's going to be some new information, new beginning coming to you. The surprise or challenge card is not to get caught up in um, hopelessness, really. The five of pentacles, pentacles is an earth card and pentacles is a money card. And the five of pentacles is about um, saying, oh, you know, I could have done this or whatever, or about not asking for help if you need it. But if you'll notice in the snow, there's a little snow blossom just there to remind us that even in the midst of winter, even in the midst of our deepest despair, there is a, a little drop of hope that comes from us. So it's asking you to keep in mind that drop of hope that will traject, put your trajectory forward. The way for you to move through your month, the um, progress of the month card is the magician. Now the magician is an awesome card because <clears throat> he reminds us that we have everything at our fingertips that we need to make our life whatever it is we desire. He has all the elements in front of him, an infinity sign above his head. He is using it all and we have that within us to do that. So your process this month is to know you have everything you need. Don't get caught up in what you don't have. And the most likely outcome is a brilliant new beginning. This is an ace, ace of swords. Um, aces are air signs, so ideas or new new information. Aces are the most potent um, gift from God cards in the deck, okay? So you are going to come across a new opportunity, a new um, idea that's going to be extremely positive for you. Um, be watching for it and be watching for those signs. So hopefully that was helpful for all you Virgos out there. Hang in there. We're getting ready to move forward. And thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful holiday um, week and a very prosperous new year.